Okay, so um, first off, uh, good afternoon to all of you. Uh, thank you all for coming to our event today. Uh, so DevFest 2019. Okay, so just to introduce myself, my name is Wei Yuan. I'm representing our group uh, who organized this event. It's called GDG Cloud Singapore. Uh, and yeah, we hope you have a fun time with today's event. Okay, so let's get into our opening note here. So to start off, I would like to ask this question. You know, what exactly is DevFest? You know, you have been to other conferences or other events before. You know, what exactly is this thing called DevFest? Okay, is it a time for sharing? You know, when you go for conferences, you have speakers who share their experiences that they have amassed over the, the last year, okay? Or is it a time for learning? You know, this morning, we organized study jams. I recognize some of your faces who, uh, some of your turn up for our study jams this morning, uh, gaining hands-on knowledge on how to use GCP. Okay? So what else could it be besides uh, these important reasons? Okay, what about swags? So if you are expecting some swags, don't worry about it. We have some exciting stuff at the end of today for you guys. Uh, food as well, yes. Okay, so to answer this question properly, what is that first? I would say it's not just one of these any terms alone. It's all of it combined. So there's many different values that you can go for in today's event. And we hope you are able to achieve some of these objectives today. You know, be it listening from our speakers, uh, gaining knowledge from the hands-on session this morning, or being able to network with people you know, during the breaks later on or with the speakers as well. Okay, so let's get into, let's recap, uh, review what has happened over the last year. So when looking at the technology that has uh, occurred in this year, we have to look back at the one uh, key event that has uh, happened, which is CloudNext. Okay. So for CloudNext, essentially one of the announcements uh, for that event was uh, Anthos. So Anthos itself, it's uh, enterprise software where uh, companies could containerize their legacy or uh, legacy applications you know, and move it to the cloud. You know, through hybrid environments like uh, GKE, managed GKE or either uh, GKE on-prem. So our first speaker is going to be speaking on Anthos later on. Okay. So for smaller companies or non-enterprise uh, customers or maybe even students, the other announcement might interest you even more. So is this tool called Cloud Run? Essentially, it's a very interesting tool because it's a, it's a software that is a tool that lies between the uh, IAS systems as well as the serverless tools that uh, GCP offers today. And it harnesses or rather benefits you know, from the uh, benefits that, uh, that can be held with from the tools on both ends. What do I mean by that? Uh, okay, first, before talking about that, I would uh, like to explain you know, how do you execute Cloud Run. So for Cloud Run, first, you, what you need to do is choose the runtime. Choose the runtime that you want to use for running the application. Provide some form of schematic. You know, maybe it's some form of a Docker file. Uh, you put in the, uh, it's a Docker file. You put in the dependencies and the entry point for running this application. Okay, and from there, you will just deploy the application to Cloud Run. You will put in configurations like the total concurrent requests that the container has to run at, at any time, so that the tool itself knows how to scale your application as it needs to. You know, if you have more uh, users using an application, it will scale up uh, as necessary. So it's able to gain the benefits, you know, both from IAS systems as well as serverless systems. Because for as characteristic of an uh, IAS system, you are able to choose things like runtime. Whereas in serverless tools, usually you can't really do that. Uh, but on the other hand, Cloud Run itself is uh, also classified as a serverless tool because you are able to configure things very easily. You don't need to worry about the infrastructure when you use this tool. Okay? So it's as if you have benefits on both sides. It's like having a cake and being able to eat it too. Okay, beyond technology in 2019, I would also like to bring you guys through the journey that our group GDG Cloud has gone through over the last year. So reviewing some of the milestones that we have achieved, uh, we're very glad to see more of you guys joining us over the last year. We started the year with around 3,000 plus members, and now we're ending the year with 5,000 over members. We're excited to meet each and every one of you. And beyond our activities that we organized in 218, we have increased the amount of activities up to 10 in this year alone, increasing the engagement you know, with all of you. And of that 10 activities, so not including today's study jam, we also organized three different study jams across the, this entire year, uh, one of which we featured Cloud Run prominently. This was around a month ago. 
So we hope to see more of you all uh, coming for these events. And finally, I'm very glad to say that you know, across all these, all these events, we have engaged with over 1,000 participants, you know, talking to each of you guys uh, through these conferences and understanding your needs in using GCP's tools. Okay, so one important thing that I want to mention over here, for some of you all who have been with us over the past year or past few years in fact, uh, some of you all might recognize us with, uh, by this logo over here. So previously we were, we were named as uh, GCPUG, you know, Google Cloud Platform User Group. So that's why if you see at the end over there, PUG is essentially like a breed of a dog. So the logo is very cute, like there's this dog over there. Uh, but over this year, we have changed our name over to GDG Cloud Singapore. So if you have been seeing this name being bounced around in some of our events, uh, this is why, uh, like because of rebranding, that's why we are named as this right now. So look forward, uh, we look forward to have more of you joining our events you know, under this brand uh, in the years to come. Okay, and one thing I would like to emphasize, I'm very, very, very excited to talk about this and I'm also looking around, I see the guy that I'm looking for. So I'm very, very excited to announce that we have our first Singaporean Cloud GDE, you know, Google Developer Expert, uh, and he's none other than uh, a friend as well as an organizer of our group, our activities today. So I would like to, I would like you guys to join me in congratulating Harizwan. Uh, he's over there. So for his uh, activities as well as contributions that he has gave to the community over the last few years. Okay, so let's review uh, the activities that uh, last year's DevFest. So if you look at last year's DevFest, uh, so this is the agenda for last year. You know, it's, uh, the conference itself started around at this time and it ended at around five plus. So through that event, we had four interesting speakers with a great lineup of topics, okay? But this year, we promise to give you even more. Up from four speakers, we have 10 speakers today, okay? And they're gonna be talking over a very interesting spectrum of topics from serverless all the way to machine learning okay okay and today we have gone beyond you know not just holding this conference also giving people a uh, need for hands-on knowledge you know conducting the study jam for giving them a technical experience so we hope you have enjoyed this activity so far as well as those who are joining us now uh, we hope you enjoy the activities that we have for the rest of today okay so one thing i just want to mention before we move on uh, so this is a uh, so special offer for you guys who are attending today. So uh, please scan this QR code if you're interested in uh, this offer over here for eligible startups up to 3,000 in Google Cloud credits. I'll give you guys, give you guys some time to scan. Take a picture if you, if you want to first. Yeah. Okay, so we'll be showing this at the end later on, so don't worry if you miss this. Uh, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna be moving on. Okay, okay so importantly, uh, or one of the important parts of holding events is having the sponsors. Without them, we wouldn't have uh, the money to be able to get you guys food or good specs. So I would like to thank Fastly and Cloud Ace for stepping up and helping us with this event today. And they're gonna have a price draw later on, so uh, watch out for it. Uh, important part, you have to be here later on to receive the prize, and the draw closes at 5 p.m. So if you want to participate in this, uh, please scan the QR code and uh, fill in the required details. Oh, you already did that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Everyone good? Good. I'm going to move on. In three, two, one. Okay, and now five more seconds. Five, four. Okay, let. Uh, oh, I see one more. Okay. Okay. So beyond the sponsors, it is also very important for me to, as well as my team, to thank the speakers who are here today, uh, who have spent their time not just for today's, uh, putting their time aside not just for today's talks, but also setting their time aside to prepare for the materials for their talks today. And I would like to appeal, you know, I know some of you guys have speak to some of you uh, and then some of you have also mentioned that you are interested in speaking. So do approach us, let us know, you know, the topics you're interested in. Maybe we can look at arranging something over the next year. 
Okay. And uh, before I pass off to my uh, first speaker of the day, I would like to quote you know, uh, from something from a wise man. So this guy mentioned that to organize a kick-ass event, you first need to have uh, a good venue, which we have this venue today. You need to have uh, good speakers, which we have an uh, exciting lineup, a good roster of speakers for you later on. You also need to have uh, incentives like food you know, for your participants to keep them fed you know, throughout the program. So later on, we're going to have a tea break for all of you guys to enjoy. And like one last thing, the one last missing factor of having a good event is having the participants joining us in this event. You know, it can't happen uh, without all of you setting our time aside for this afternoon today for all of us for this event. So sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, I, I thank you for coming and I hope you enjoy what we have for you for the rest of today. So with that, um, I'm going to hand off to my first speaker. Thank you.